going on guys today I want to make a brief video about the uh, the reptilians I know we've we've all heard you know a lot about them it's it's been all over uh, kind of a subculture um, whatever but uh, if you look at it any any logical person looking at you know our society and the system we have in place you can see how it is a kind of a predatory predatory based system where we have to attain something we have to achieve something so that aspect in and of itself it creates a predatory mentality and uh, predatory men yeah, predatory mentality yeah that's how you say it um, anyways so that off the bat is, is a distorted is a, a distorted experience we're, we're, we're jumping off with a distortion um, so the, the hardest part so these beings let me go back these beings are threaded throughout our entire society you look at the, uh, the, 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 the medical symbol um, with the serpent the serpent is everywhere the reptile is the reptile is everywhere it's in the it's in the you know some of the biblical texts it's all throughout history and in, in, in all different religions it's everywhere the serpent is represented everywhere the uh, the uh, there there are pyramids in South America I believe that are aligned with the Draco uh, constellation which is the dragon the serpent um, a lot of Eastern Eastern uh, philosophies and religions uh, worship the dragon uh, you know what I'm talking about you get my point well these beings so these beings are what you would call interdimensional shape-shifting uh, reptilian entities that were created as like a slave race by the Draco to use to manipulate humanity so the 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 reptilians from the Orion star system which just so happens to align with the the pyramids in, in Giza um, in Egypt and they are directly responsible for the creation of the system the belief system basically the entire illusion on this planet with the help of some of the the beings from the Syrian star system um, the Sirius star system and the beings from Orion the, the the negatively aligned beings from Orion created I mean they provided our planet with the technology that we need to to enslave ourselves through our smartphones our televisions our radios I mean it started way back in the day I mean we were we were provided with with the means of, of progressing as as human beings through not only our own ingenuity but also through our ability to connect with the Akashic record uh, a lot of a lot of the, the 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 mainstream scientists like Tesla were able to access you know higher higher realms of understanding the Akashic record he was more in line I mean he always talked about frequency and if he understood frequency as well as we think he did and as well as he said that he did then he knew beyond the shadow of any doubt how to access higher levels of understanding once you understand frequency all information is available to you I promise you that I've been I've been screaming that at the top of my lungs um, anyways once we focus this once we focus this this uh, this love light that we have inside of us towards the actual enemy we have to know what who and what the enemy is and we also have to know how we fell we have to remember how we fell from the top how we fell from the 
the connection of the creator that we that we had at the beginning of time at the beginning of creation we are the perf we are the the essence the the separated uh, children of the perfect man the, the the perfect creation and the Orions were basically drafted crafted by the Draco along with a, a number of other beings the the, the 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 beings from Zeta Reticuli there's a number of other ones you know and there's good and bad in all of them you know there's good and bad in everything there's light and darkness everywhere and we have to remember that we have to and that's where we have to learn to trust our feelings and our intuition and we have to vibrate on a frequency that doesn't allow anything outside of the truth to penetrate um and once we start doing that we we start basically creating a shield of armor around us and it turns us into giants among men um for lack of better terms and I mean, it's the most empowering feeling I could ever, I could ever express. Just having this conversation and expressing these, these, these truths are like the most empowering experience I've ever had. And I want to thank any of you guys for, who, who are listening for, for motivating me to do that. Um, but anyways, back to these reptilians. So they're, they're intertwined in all of our, our daily lives and all of our, our activities. Through our smartphones, our, our television programming, um, everything is 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 based on a predatory point of view perception, and is manipulated through crafted technology designed to distract the mind and keep us from using the right side of our brain and reconnecting with the light of the Creator. Like we've forgotten. We have completely forgotten that we are beings of light and that our, our DNA absorbs light and that we emit light. And based on what we're thinking about and what we're feeling about, it depends, that determines the light that we're emitting. And that's the way that we interact with each other and we're all, all intertwined as one, one light um, separated from our, our, our father trying to find our way back home. Um, this is a this is a, a critical a critical juncture because I, I I believe those beings are are relatively close by. I I sense that that something is something there's a, a, a there's something near. And there's something on you know there's something. Uh, they're not just gonna they're not just gonna stand by and let let whatever happens happen. I know that. Um, they're going to directly intervene if necessary, whatever is, whatever is necessary for them to perpetuate the control that they have because this is a matter of life and death for them. Um, this is, this is the, the, the ultimate. This is the moment of truth. We all have to, uh, we all have to just love each other, you know, and, and spend time with the, uh, Spend time with people, places, and things that vibrate on a on a, a level directly, more directly aligned with the the, the vibration of the Creator. Um, for me, it, I I have to focus my attention. I have to pay attention to what I'm thinking about, and I have to pay attention to what I'm feeling, and I have to remember on a daily basis to kind of, because I'm relatively, you know, new at, at practicing this and actually manifesting these truths as reality in my life. But it's, it's, you know, I have to remember to focus on what it is that I'm thinking about and bring the love of the creator as a thought into my experience constantly. Because every time I do that, it's like a recharge and the more I do that, the more like the more I practice that, the more light it feels like I'm able to hold, and that's what allows me to access the higher, some of the higher higher thinking. Because I feel like sometimes I feel like if I if I quiet my mind enough, it almost feels like I could let my body die, and and see what happens. I mean, I'm not going to do that because it's kind of, uh, 
it's kind of a scary thing, you know, it feels, it feels relatively weird. I was meditating last night and it was like I got smacked right in the middle of my forehead, right in my mind's eye with a whitish blue light. It was the most uh, interesting thing. And I like, I got this sensation of like, wake up. Like, like my mother flicking me in the forehead telling me to wake up. It was the weirdest thing. Um, but I don't know, the, 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 uh, the Orions are, uh, are terrified of what is happening on this planet. They're terrified of us waking up. That's okay. Let them be terrified. Let them deal with whatever it is they, they have to deal with. That's, that's outside of our control and outside of our experience. That's not our responsibility, nor, it's our, nor is it our problem. Our only problem is to focus our vibrational frequency in a way that repels, like a shield of armor, any type of negative influence that the Orion-based system has, has created to try to influence and redirect our thoughts back down a negative path. We have to guard ourselves against that, and that's it. That's all we're up against. Um, they will attempt, they will make every attempt to terrify us. The only, the only tool they have, any, the only tool they have, the only tool they've ever had is their ability to manipulate our fear. Um, once we overcome the fear of the loss of this system that they've created, the loss of our, our, our life, um, the loss of really anything, once we lose the attachment to the physical world that we hold on to so freaking dearly with such terror of losing, once we let go of that, we will then truly be free to express ourselves in a way that is empowering for everybody because we no longer need nor require that predatory mentality because we're no longer attached to any of the things that we believe that we need in our mind. And all we, all the one, when we come to this conclusion, when we start to realize these things, I know for me, I'm starting to realize that we're gonna have the ability to manifest a reality based on the way that we feel through our own individual expression of unconditional love. And it's going to be the most beautiful, amazing, creative, uh, empowering, blissful experience. We just have to remember not to fall victim to the traps of the fear that the Orions have, have, have used, the Draco have actually used and directed the, the Orions to create and, mani and, and manipulate and maintain on this planet. Once we, once we let go of these fears, of these, these attachments that we have, of these gratifications that we think we need, we start to free ourselves from the bondage of this illusion and we start to open up to the universe and we start to experience reality in a different way and everything starts to fall into place. It is beautiful, it is amazing, it is phenomenal, the light is shining, the sun is out, we are on our way to a, a completely new experience. All we have to do is hold the line. We are doing an amazing job. I can feel the love emanating from the from the, the the star seeds and the wanderers and the light workers and everybody doing their part and trying to raise the collective vibrational frequency of the planet. It's a beautiful thing to experience. These are beautiful times to be a part of. Remember Fear is an illusion. It only exists in our perception of something to come. The only thing we actually experience right now is this moment right now. So what we need to do is focus on where we are right now, what we're thinking about, harness the vibrational frequency of that thought, and radiate that out to the population that we come in contact with. And I promise you, my life got better. I promise you that. I promise you my life has gotten better. I feel like a completely new person and uh, I just can't overstate these things enough because I feel like this information should just be this we should just pass this around and we should be sitting around singing kumbaya and talking about this shit all day long and uh, figuring out a world that we need that we want to create where everybody's included and nobody's mind is warped and twisted by some delusion of lack. And everyone has absolutely everything that they need and we can create a life 
we can manifest a life based upon our unconditional love. I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good. But uh, these beings are, 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 you know, they're doing what they got to do to to survive. Is really the case. I mean, that's the truth of the matter. They, uh, it's just like how you or I would act if we were, you know, in survival mode. Um, I think we all kind of are anymore. You know, the way that the, uh, the way that they're playing, playing the the pieces on the board. You know, it's kind of making everything a little bit crazy, but everything's going to work out just fine. You know, we're not alone in this. There are beings out there that, that have our interests in mind and would like to see the, uh, the light shine again and the darkness be eradicated. Um, but the only thing that we can rely on is the light that's within us. That's the only thing that we can ultimately trust is the light within ourselves. And I'll have you know that the light within you is the exact same light that's within me. We're just observing it from two different points of perception. It is exactly the same though. And it's and it, and it completely fills your life and it completely fills your, your heart and your mind with blissful thoughts, blissful actions, and a blissful reality. And uh, I don't know, I just can't express how, how amazing this, this life is how amazing these experiences coming coming up are going to be as long as we can let go of attachment. Um, I, I truly believe if our vibrational frequency is at a level that we, we have let go and purified our spirit enough that we don't require any materialistic aspect to survive, our frequency, the frequency of the Creator can maintain us. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say let's let's starve ourselves or let's let's stop breathing or you know any of that type of shit I'm just saying I there's something there's something brewing you know there's something uh, something shifting there's an energy changing in the universe there's an energy changing in this reality so I would not I would not doubt anything is possible from flying to reading each other's minds to any of that stuff. I truly believe that we have the capability to resonate on a frequency that makes absolutely anything possible. It's like living at Disneyland every single day. We don't need anything. All we need to do is enjoy what it is that we create. That's it, man. That's it for me. I love you guys. Peace, Kaboo.